May this official Nisei Week 71st anniversary opening now be officially purified. Let it officially be blessed. Uh, my name is Hayato Tamura, and I am the immediate past president for the Nisei Week Foundation. Well, the Japanese community, um, to me, is, is more than just a community, more, more than just a Japanese culture. Um, it's about family. Um, we've, uh, the friendships, uh, the camaraderie that we've built through the years, um, I truly attribute to the fact that there are really great people here in the community. The Japanese community have, have gone through, uh, well, has a long history. Um, you know, we've been, the Japanese community has been around for about I mean, over 100 years. Um, we've assimilated, um, so, um, having a, a core location where there's a concentrated uh, amount of Japanese and Japanese Americans um, are no longer in existence. We're all over the place, but um, you know, having something like Nisei Week, where it brings everybody together um, to to not only ce celebrate the the culture, but uh, to bring people together and to to spend quality time together is what's most important. I feel, and um, and in order to do that, you know, we need to have loyalty and we need to have um, a certain level of, of camaraderie uh, and a sense of um, togetherness um, to be able to continue this. I guess Nise Nisei Week, it's to me, Nisei Week, um, uh, I mean, it's passion for the community is the first thing that comes to mind. Um, I've been involved as a volunteer since I was in uh, college, um, helping selling t-shirts and Ever since then, um, just the, um, the nostalgia and the, the experiences that, that I had growing up um, really just made a, a lasting impression. Um, and ever since then, I've always been wanted to, to be a part of Nisei Week. And um, you know, over the course of time, I was able to uh, get an opportunity to uh, give back. And, and it's just been truly a great, great experience thus far. This is actually my, my, my uh, I served two, two terms. Uh, I had the opportunity of uh, serving uh, as Nisei Week Foundation president back in 2005, and then last year in 2010. So um, each, you know, each experience has been definitely different. Um, but what's most important is that um, it's not a one person's job. Uh, it's in, it's in a production filled with um, volunteers and a whole team of people who are actually giving their own time, um, um, their own energy, and their own um, you know m money to to make this festival happen. Um, I really appreciate, I love what I do, um, I love the community and um, the friendships that I've made through the process um, really makes this, process, um, this experience really easy to, to accomplish. In terms of the future, it's, it's just to continue um, to do what we're doing. Um, in addition, expand um, and our horizons in terms of reaching out to uh, different d demographics. Um, um, not only um, it's this festival is important to the Japanese American community, but um, you know, this is also uh, um, imperative that we um, spread the word to different communities, um, different ethnic communities, so they could come in and really appreciate the, the, the festival as well. Hi, my name is Helen Ota, and I'm the Vice President of Community Relations for the Nisei Week Foundation. I'm very fortunate actually to live in a, uh, a city that is very close to the Little Tokyo community, so um, what I love about our community is the fact that it is very diverse, especially in most recent years. And I love that we're able to uh, share our culture, our Japanese and Japanese American culture and heritage with these new residents who aren't necessarily Japanese or Japanese American, but it has allowed us to share our, um, our traditions like Nisei Week and um, share a little history as well because this, this community, Little Tokyo, has uh, a very rich, diverse history uh, and it's, it's great to be able to share that. Nisei Week uh, means, actually there's a lot of things that Nisei Week means to me, but mostly it's about celebrating our culture and our heritage and really giving um, acknowledgement and honoring our Issei and Nisei pioneers who have come before us and really help build the community to what it is today. I, I really believe without them, um, our community would be completely different. So Nisei Week means um, about honoring and really giving thanks and respe respects to those before us. I think the character that 
really defines Japanese American is that spirit of giving back and that spirit of gambare, of really uh, never giving up and uh, pulling together as a community. I think what, what's really wonderful about what Nisei Week offers is it's actually a week-long celebration. Um, a lot of events throughout the community, it's usually one day or one week, uh, sorry, one weekend, one night, but Nisei Week really encompasses that full week starting with uh, the Plaza Festival on Saturday and our coronation of our queen through the parade and then the following weekend where we have closing ceremony and if you could only go to one event uh, during the Nisei Week festivities, I would say uh, closing ceremony and ondo because that's where the community really all comes together and everyone is encouraged to participate. It's, it's a really bringing together of the community. My name is Michelle Suzuki and I'm an executive committee and vice president of the Nisei Week Foundation. Um, I was born in the United States. I'm actually a Yonsei, so my uh, grandparents also were born in the United States. So we consider ourselves to be American. However, uh, we have a rich Japanese heritage. We celebrate obons. We celebrate a lot of uh, traditional Japanese uh, uh, culture that we, that we share with our American heritage as well. What I uh, realized most about this community is it's so diverse. Uh, within UCLA, we had so many people of all different races, um, ages, genders, and it's such a wonderful community with so many um, diverse, uh, diverse things to offer each other. And to me, what Nisei Week means is a conglomeration and sharing and celebration of the Japanese American culture and community with the diverse community of Los Angeles. Uh, Nisei Week, uh, to me, has brought me uh, into the Japanese American community in Los Angeles, has allowed me to share my culture and community with others, and been a, uh, a volunteer within our community and share that and give back to the community in which we live. My name is Diane Tanaka, and I am the Ed the Vice President of Marketing for the Nisei Week Foundation. I live in Palos Verdes and uh, what's nice about living in that community um, is that there are a lot of Japanese, uh, Japanese nationals as well as Japanese Americans and um, trying to bridge a culture with my children so that they learn both what it is to be Japanese and, and American. I think Japanese Americans are, are, are unique uh, community and we're very I think um, fortunate to have to be both American and Japanese um, I think Japanese Americans marry the two very well and um, you know we have the hum the humility and, and being humble um, and like a Japanese person um, as well as I guess we would say uh, uh, considerate and compassionate but we also bring forward the, the strength and character of being an American and being unique and individual. So I think the, um, all those qualities to make, together make Japanese Americans and just make us a, a very unique group of people. My parents are both grew up in Hawaii and they're uh, third generation or sansei, so I'm fourth generation yonsei. And um, growing up with them, I always thought that, you know, they were speaking English, but I, what I realized yeah, they were speaking English, but what, we, what they call Pidgin English. Uh, it's kind of like a mixed English that uh, people from Hawaii speak. So I realized from a young age that I was learning a foreign language. <laughs> so what's great about Little Tokyo is that it is um, one of the three Japan, remaining Japan towns in California. And what Nisei Week does is keep that um, the culture uh, alive in Little Tokyo and it brings people from all over to, to Los Angeles and if we can keep that going and continue to bring people here we help to uh, support the, the community um, and business owners um, and um, at the same time um, spread the wonderful culture that is truly Japanese American and Nisei Week to and introduce that to the greater communities. Even though um, Japanese Americans are really the smallest Asian community, and we're, we're a shrink, shrinking community, uh, you still see the strength and the camaraderie and family and community that is um, 
that's truly special. So we hope you all come out and we hope that we continue to bring in new volunteers and, and new people to the festival and to our family and uh, we look forward to another wonderful year. My name is Gerald Fukui. I am the treasurer of Nisei Week. Also, I'm on the executive board as well as, as co-chair of the Coronation Ball. I can't even remember when it was. 1978 is when I first got involved and I was involved in the Queen Committee. At one point, I think I was the youngest on the board. Um, but now being 58, I realize I've been involved with Nisei Week for over 30 years. And um, I've been on the general chair once in 1991. And then I've been the Coronation Ball Chairman many, so many times I can't even count. Of all the organizations I am involved in, probably Nisi Week has become the most fulfilling and gratifying of all the organizations. My father was very community-minded. I'm involved in quite a few organizations, but it doesn't even come close to the number of organizations that my father belonged in. He was also on Nisi Week as well. He, uh, was chair, he was Cornish and Ball chair, he was everything, Queen chair. And then my mother as well followed his footsteps and that she was also involved in other community organizations like the JACCC and the uh, St. On Senior Citizen Center. Obviously, like to everyone else, Nisei Week means the perpetuation of our Japanese culture and heritage. And I think it's very important because we see how Nisei Week or how Little Tokyo has changed. If you come out here, you'll notice such a diverse uh, eclectic um, number of different people, different races, uh, different styles, and I think Nisei Week is very important to help bring the Japanese back. A lot of the businesses are gone now. The old Rafu Busans, um, Ike, uh, Ida store, a lot of the prior long-time Japanese businesses are gone. And a lot of it is because the next generation did not want to take it over, so they sold it. And so I would love to bring back Little Tokyo back to where it was many years ago. I see a lot of the new, I guess I would call them Sanses and Yonsei, the parents who have children, coming back to Nisei Week for the uh, Children's Day for Nisei Week. And I think that's very important. I think it's just a will and a want to perpetuate their heritage of their, their grandparents, their great-grandparents. To their children. My name is Terry Hara. I'm one of the board of directors of the Nisi Week Foundation and also deputy chief of the Los Angeles Police Department. Uh, my involvement in Nisi Week, uh, I would say, is at many different levels, but first, more importantly, is as a board of director, uh, being part of an all-volunteer foundation uh, to put on a community event year after year has been such a rewarding and personal experience. It also allows many community members, family members, friends get involved in making a difference in being able to showcase culture, the Japanese American culture, the Japanese culture, bringing all communities together in a special week during the summer months in August, year after year. I would define a Japanese American is uh, individual that has both an American background uh, as well as a Japanese background, uh, Japanese ancestry, and uh, over the, the many years and decades, in fact, the Japanese culture itself has been introduced to many, many different cultures, many different communities that they all partake, whether it's food, culture, travel, and you can get the best of that here in Little Tokyo in Los Angeles and in particular during the festivities of Nisei Week. Uh, Japanese Americans, uh, I think, uh, offer uh, a way of, for myself, as being a third generation sansei, uh, the best of both. Uh, the best of both in, in that uh, we combine the Japanese culture and the American culture together. Every year we would have celebrations of uh, a Matsuri a festival. And I remember my mother always uh, putting on a kimono. It was a large group of women that got together. The kimonos were all the same. and uh, They would dance and practice. And growing up seeing that uh, reminds me of what's going on today. And more recently in the years, we've seen an increase of participants of community members coming out to participate in dances, the festivals. 
And to see that in the generation with now my children and, and other friends and their children, it's such a rewarding uh, experience to see the growth of year after year, generation after generation, people coming out to enjoy just being together at a family event. If anyone wants to get involved and volunteer their time and want to give back to the community, Nisi Week, the festival, uh, the baby show, the, whether it's a basketball tournament, uh, whether it's a Tanabata festival that we have going, there's so many things going on in leading up to Nisi Week and during the course of the year. It is all run by volunteers. And if you want to get involved, if you want to make friends, if you want to meet people of all ages and backgrounds, come out to Nisi Week, volunteer. Go to our website at www.nisiweek.org and you'll find a wealth of information or even come out to our meetings because it's open to the public um, every Tuesday evenings. And uh, at, uh, on the website is our, our schedule and all the activities that Nisi Week has to offer. My name is Steve Inoue. I'm a board member for the Nisi Week Foundation. Well, Nisi Week means uh, family, culture, uh, heritage, uh, things that come, go along with uh, the passing down of uh, culture and heritage among the various generations. I remember going to the uh, Nisi Week Carnival with my, with my parents and my, my family. Uh, I believe that it's important to give back to the community, a uh, community that's been very supportive of not only myself but my family. I think the Japanese community is, uh, there's a real sense of uh, bonding and even though I think it's been lost as the generations have, as we've, as we've gone from Issei to Nisei to Sansei and now to Yonsei, um, a lot of mixed marriages. Uh, the difference I see in the Japanese community is that a lot of the culture and and uh, heritage is passed down from one generation to the next and that's what really defines, um, for me, defines the Japanese culture. It's also a reason why it's very important for me to be involved so that I can pass along the same cultures and, and heritage to my kids as well. Being a sansei myself, I think a lot has been lost, uh, such as not speaking Japanese, uh, but there are other uh, I, I think it's very important to pr promote the growth, uh, the culture and the heritage and keep that alive within our uh, generations and to pass that along. I think Nisei Week is great for the community because it really involves a lot of, uh, a lot of people, not, in, not only the older generations but the newer generations. Um, and, and that instills passing along the culture, the heritage to Keep the uh, keep that alive within future generations to come. Hello, my name is Nikki Kodama, and I am a member of the Nisei Week Foundation Executive Committee, as well as the Opening Ceremony Committee Chair. With Nisei Week, I really remember coming to the parade with my grandparents. They were all, always really excited about the parade and seeing the Queen in court. And specifically, my grandfather was very involved with the Go For Broke and the 442nd, and also the Japanese American National Museum, which he was very key in founding. Um, I live in the South Bay community, which I find is part of the greater Los Angeles community. And the Japanese American community, while it started really centralized in the little Tokyo region, has grown to really encompass the entire Southern California area. And I think that that's what the Nisei Week and the Japanese American community is really about. It's about uniting the smaller communities into one big community where we can all identify as Japanese Americans. Nisei Week really, to me, means celebrating what it is to be Japanese American. So it's a combination of the traditional Japanese arts and culture united with what it is to be American and what it is to live in Los Angeles specifically. So it's kind of the combination of the two. And whether that be celebrating the fine arts of Ikebana and Orori, or bringing in really the pop culture of anime and import cars and some of the younger culture, it's celebrating everything that it means to be Japanese American. 
I think the character of a Japanese American is someone who shares an ethnic background as a Japanese, but also knows about living in the American culture. This year is our 71st Nisei Week Festival, and it's a little bit of the same of all the past of really celebrating the Japanese American heritage, but it's also about bringing in something new. This year we brought in a new sponsor of a Queen candidate. We'll have new entries into our parade and festival, and we'll be bringing in some new people into our community with the people who have moved into the Los Angeles area. And what I really would love to see Nisei Week become is a festival that unifies all Japanese Americans in the Southern California region, but also invites people of other cultures and ethnic backgrounds to come into Little Tokyo and celebrate with us and learn a little bit about the Japanese culture. Hi, my name is Leland Lau. I'm a uh, board member of Nisei Week uh, for the fourth year, and it's just a pleasure to be here. I'm of Chinese descent, but we've grown up here in Southern California, so we've known many Japanese families over the years, and it's just been exciting to see being cultured with the Japanese community as well, as many of their families have adopted us as just as another son. Uh, Nisei Week is actually, to me, being an outsider, it's a little bit different. Um, we really respect what's been going on here in the Japanese community because what happens is it's given the chance for the younger generations, both, both the Sansei and the next generation after that, to actually continue the legacy that their parents brought forth after the war. So it's a very wonderful, outstanding community effort they've done for the next generations to come. I currently live here in the city of Monterey Park, um, which is just a suburb of uh, Los Angeles, California. And in this community, Monterey Park has had a very strong Japanese influence over the years. And with those many people that we've met in uh, Monterey Park and through the city of Los Angeles, um, it's allowed us to sit there and meet many more people that are here in the community and get involved here locally in Little Tokyo. What's really exciting about Nisei Week and its development over the years, and again, this is here in 2011, is the 71st anniversary of Nisei Week. And what their parents started as the Niseis and what the next generation has continued to follow and to sit there and instill in the culture of their children is absolutely amazing. Um, as this board continues with the Nisei Week Foundation itself, um, there's a change of letting the old guard finally step aside and the young blood come in and start running some of the activities, which is really important for the success of any um, cultural organization such as the Nisei Week Foundation. Being active in the Japanese community has uh, made us expand our horizons with a lot of new friends and people that we've met. And just to see the city and changing and how it's developed and how the people have grown up in the city and gone forward. Uh, they've enculturated the American aspect of how everything goes here in Los Angeles and in the USA as a general. But they still continue to maintain their cultural roots, which is absolutely an outstanding item for the Japanese community here. Hi, my, my name is Mike Okamoto. I'm a board of director, a uh, member of the board of the Nisei Week Foundation. I wanted to um, spread the, uh, this community interest of the activities, programs here to more of a larger Los Angeles area because it seems like many of the, the focus has been shifted to South Bay, Orange County area, but we still have, uh, you know, for the programs and and activities in Little Tokyo. And for the Japanese American, this is like a center for activities. And there's a lot of activities going on, even at 10 o'clock, midnight, sometimes two o'clock in the morning. You know, people with different background, different ethnicity, they all get together to look for something Japanese. I think the term Nisei, uh, when we uh, say Nisei, we usually associate with that, uh, with Issei, Nisei. But it's more of a, a cultural, preservation, you know, transferring culture to the next generation. So Nisei, in my interpretation, is more like next generation rather than, you know, to Nisei specifically. So Nisei Week is, uh, I guess, community event to uh, preserve a culture and transfer the culture to the next generation. There are many different definitions for the Japanese Americans and 
is like Nikkei community or Japanese American community. Each one has a different um, definition. And that kind of symbolizes the diversity of a community. And I would really hope that the people, especially from Japan, uh, who may feel comfortable you know, spending time in South Bay, should come visit and experience this new diversified culture, which may be the culture of future, really. Yeah. And we tend to look at one sort of category as with the one meaning, but uh, our Japanese American community has so many varieties of uh, groups and, and heritages and differences. And I guess that's what's great about, you know, what's really great about. We are together with the name Japanese American, but we all, we all have, you know, differences, diversities, which kind of harmonize into one community. My name is Frances Kazuko Hashimoto. I'm an executive board member of the Nisei Week Foundation, um, and I've been doing this for many, many years. Um, the Nisei Week Foundation, or the Nisei Week Japanese Festival that happens every year in August, um, is significant because we celebrate our 71st year this year, our 71st time, but it has been the longest and largest Japanese festival of its kind in the United States. And the important part of Nisei Week is that we promote the Japanese culture and carry on many of the traditions that our parents, grandparents have introduced to America. This community is, is really, um, it's called Little Tokyo, but it's more uh, than Little Tokyo. It's, it's, like the Tokyo of before, all the first generation people have, have came here and built up this community. So it's become a community where you have rich traditions. And the exciting part of something like Nisei Week is that it promotes the culture from before, but it carries on that same culture to new generations. And, and in turn, I think uh, in America, uh, programs that we do in Nisei Week, they promote the culture and traditions in, in a different way. To me, Japanese American, I, I think growing up as a Japanese American, it's very important because uh, the Japanese part is, is to really carry on the traditions and, and promote those, that culture. But the American side, I think it's very, very important that, that festivals or or programs such as Nisei Week continue on because that's what defines the two younger generations or future generations what being Japanese American really means. The one thing I would like to say is that for a future or, or for those people in the community that, that uh, let me be an example, that it's never too late to become a volunteer in Nisei Week. And it's really important because uh, some of us uh, can be examples or, or actually push the younger, new generation to continue on. And hopefully they will so that we can retire. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, hello, my name is Jamie Joyce Hagia and I am the 2010 Nisei Week Miss Tomodachi. I grew up uh, pretty close by in Gardena, Redondo Beach, and always was involved with Japanese American you know, basketball and different organizations, Girl Scouts, a lot of the sports and different uh, groups I did outside of school were Japanese American, but I never really felt connected and knew how much work went behind putting all these organizations together and what it takes to keep them running and how, how much these people care about uh, the importance of preserving our community and culture. Nisei Week is something that is very, very special to the Japanese American community. Uh, the pride that everyone takes in, in really keeping this community together and, and passing it on to the future generations is a huge deal and, and it's just something that you, you have to come out and see. Have to, once you come see it, you'll, you'll fall in love with it, you'll want to support it and when you see how, how much we appreciate it and open our arms to not only other Japanese Americans but to everyone.